Hello and welcome back to Soulful AIP. With this video, I'm kicking off my Soulful Shopping video series where I share my favorite AIP finds at various stores in my area. The first store that I want to feature in this series is one of my favorite places to shop, Trader Joe's. I love Trader Joe's because the produce is fresh and affordable and I can find AIP compliant items for a fraction of the price of other grocery stores. Please note that this video is not sponsored. All products are purchased with my own funds and the opinions of them are my own. So when you enter my local Trader Joe's, you're going to walk right into the produce section. After passing like the fresh fruits and vegetables, take a look in the refrigerated shelves and you're going to find jicama wraps. Jicama is a root vegetable with a texture that's a cross between a pear, potato, and a water chestnut, in my opinion. I know that's odd, but that's just the best way for me to describe it. I don't think they taste like much, but they have a slight crisp crunch. And at $4.49 for a small pack, I only use these occasionally for tacos. I'll share with you a picture of a taco I've made with a jicama wrap with ground pork. In the same refrigerated shelf area as the jicama wraps, I discovered this chicken bone broth. While I've seen that other Trader Joe's also have a beef variety, my neighborhood Trader Joe's only carries the chicken. While I do make and freeze my own bone broths, it is nice to have on hand at a price point of $4.99 for 20 ounces. Also in the same area, you can find these baby beets. To be quite honest, I do not like beets at all, but I do put these in my homemade nomado sauce. This small eight ounce pack is $2.29 at my local Trader Joe's. The opposite end of the same area on the shelves near the nuts and the dried fruit, you will find these delicious unsweetened mango slices. They are so good. But be careful not to mix them up with another pack of mango slices as those have sugar added. These have just mango listed in the ingredients. They're like a grown up healthy version of a fruit roll up in taste and texture and they're $3.29 a pack at my neighborhood location. Heading down to the center aisles, I never skip this particular aisle because some of my favorite AIP compliant pantry staples are housed here. Like this raspberry vinegar. I use this to make salad dressing, to pickle veggies, and to make marinades. I also love to deglaze the pan with this when I make steaks. It makes a rich demi glaze when cooked with some onion and mushrooms to place on top of your steak. And it costs $1.99. There is also an affordable red wine vinegar on the shelf that I use from time to time as well. Now there's some other great and affordable items in this aisle, but I featured them in part two of this video, so make sure to check that out. Head around to the refrigerated dairy aisle. Skip all of the non-compliant dairy and vegan dairy items, but at the end of this section with the cold drinks, you can find kombucha. Kombucha is a fizzy fermented tea with billions of living probiotics that aid in digestion, support gut health, and boost immune function. There are many brands on the market, but most of the time they have some type of sweetener that is not AIP compliant. But this particular brand is the only one that I've found thus far that is fully compliant and tastes really good to me. The other great thing about finding it at Trader Joe's is it is significantly cheaper here than at other retailers. It's $2.99 a bottle. Dip down past the drinks to the meat section and on the top shelf near the pork you will find this pork belly. It's a little pricey at $6.49 for 12 ounces but these days it's comparable to a package of bacon. It's considered fully cooked but you will want to slice it up and pan fry it to get it crispy. Now I use it for a variety of things. I would make it into bacon bits to top salads and soups. And I use crispy slices for sandwiches. And I also like to cook it with Brussels sprouts. Now if you cook a batch of this, it will release a lot of fat. 
I drain off the pan drippings into a small mason jar and I like to use it for a cooking fat. The last two items in this video are specialty items that can only be found during the fall season. They can typically be found on the end caps with other seasonal items exclusive to the fall. The first is 100% organic pumpkin. For $1.99 a can, I use it for anything that requires pumpkin. I use it to make tomato sauce, AIP pumpkin baked goods, desserts, etc. Now, for this last item, if you happen to see it, grab it immediately and stock up because it will sell out fast and it won't be restocked for an entire year. The organic maple butter is made with just one ingredient, 100% organic maple syrup. It's decadent and delicious. I drizzle it on my pumpkin scones, pumpkin bread, my pumpkin pie, sweet potato pie, and a little goes a long way. Now that I shared my favorite AIP compliant items, hit the like button and drop down in the comments and let me know what AIP compliant items you have found at Trader Joe's. Let me know what you think about the Soulful Shopping series and which stores you would like me to feature. Thanks for watching Soulful AIP.